Looking for a new neck strap or harness for your saxophone? This video is for you. In this video, I'm going to review three high quality neck strap slash harnesses for saxophone. And these neck straps Harnesses are for people of all ages, all sizes, all abilities, okay? Now, I don't know about you, but um, some of the standard neck straps that come with the horns that you rent or buy are really painful on your neck. In fact, for me, I was starting to get some lumps in the back of my neck, and I was getting frequent headaches. Um, it was just getting to the point where it was just making it really hard to perform, uh, especially on a consistent basis. And luckily, uh, one of my student teachers, who's a good friend now, gave me a great suggestion. And this is the first neck strap harness that I'm going to show you that he suggested to me. And this was many years ago, actually. It's the Van Doren FNH100 neck strap harness. Now, it comes in this really, really nice bag, very light. Okay. Um, this will not fit in the bell of your horn. I have to make that point. Okay. Um, if you've got a decent case where you have enough room, you can definitely put it in there. So, the harness comes in here, simple, just open it up, and it comes, it's folded like this. Okay, now you're probably thinking, oh my god, that's a lot of stuff in there. It's actually not. This is the part where we adjust for the height of the horn, okay, and you got a really great hook here. Okay, not ever had a problem of the horn falling off this hook, okay, because of the way it is, because it keeps wrapping around. These, the part that I just took off is the belt. This belt goes around you and you secure it with the buckles. Very, um, very um, secure buckles over here. They're not, they're not going to break. Now the, this part over here, this is the part that goes over, over your shoulders. Okay, as you can see like that. And then give a back view here. Now a few things. Um, I actually pretty much lucked out when I got this. It it pretty much fit me. I just had to make a couple of adjustments here. Okay, and this is the width on, in, on your back between your shoulder blades. Okay, some people may need it wider, some people may need it more narrow. And the way you do that is with this string and with this lock system over here. Okay, all right. Now, you're probably thinking, all right, how do you get that thing on? That's really simple. You just put it over your head just like that. Make sure I hit the piano in the back. And then you bring the buckle around and tighten it. When I'm not playing, there's a string with a little loop over here. I put it into the saxophone hook so that everything stays in the same spot. Now my hair is covering it, but you can see here's the Van Doren symbols. This is the part that goes over into the front, into your shoulders. There's no, you don't feel this actually, even though this is a, um, uh, you know, high quality plastic, there's padding underneath this part. So you don't feel the horn. You don't, you really don't feel the weight of it. Now, um, this looks a little space agey, right? Because you got this stuff sticking out in the back, right? This really high quality material. All right. Um, that's the one disadvantage I am going to say. This is bulky. And if you tend to wear a suit or a vest or some kind of blazer or whatever when you're playing, it's going to feel a little awkward. All right, but I'm going to tell you this, it's, that's the least of your concerns, seriously, because this really does take the weight of the horn off. So let me show you, I'm going to hook up my tenor sax. It's a Trevor James uh, custom raw, uh, custom signature raw, and it's a fairly heavy horn, but again, I don't feel it on this strap. So here we are with my fairly heavy Trevor James uh, tenor saxophone hooked up. The hook is really solid, okay, it's not going to go anywhere. A lot of times you see me talking in my videos and, you know, I'm hands-free. I would never recommend that um, unless you've got a really, really secure strap, okay, like this one. And what's great is that it really supports the weight of the horn. So if I want to keep the horn against me on my side, I could bring the horn in the front. I'm going to give you like a side view so you see what this looks like overall. Okay, so it's really supportive. All right, I don't feel the weight of the horn. Now, there's one more thing that uh, Van Doren recommends that you hook up, and it's this 
little hook that I would use when uh, I'm not playing. There's a little piece of string. So what you would do, you hook the horn up and then you, you put it through the Van Dorn hook. So it's got this kind of thing going on here. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't normally do that. It's, it's pretty uncomfortable um, because it's riding up, okay? Now, what it, it doesn't even bring this in in the back, for me at least. Okay, it really, you know, it doesn't. It's, it's kind of uncomfortable. So you don't see me having this piece hooked up. Now, the thing is that, you know, uh, I don't wear pants that have, um, you know, belt buckled, the ability to put a belt through. And I think that's true for most women. Um, for the men, you know, if you're hooking this up through your pants and stuff, this hook may help you. You know, this, this may help a little bit more and uh, take even more of the weight off, okay? But it's just not feasible for me. Um, I think this is a home run. I really do. And you can also adjust the height as well, okay? You could bring it down easily. The only thing is that when you've got the weight of the horn on you, it's a little bit difficult to adjust this back up, okay? In fact, I really can't. So I have to take the horn off and readjust in the back. All right. Now the disadvantages, that's one little disadvantage. It's not a big deal. Um, the disadvantages are that it is kind of bulky. Okay. Um, and people may be looking at you like, what is that? I don't really care though, you know? Um, and the only other disadvantage is when you have like a vest or a blazer on or something like that, it's a little bit awkward, but this really is a great, great, great harness. I wholeheartedly recommend it. I'm not endorsed by Van Doren. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to put that out there. This is something that I use just about all the time. Okay. It's really worth it. Um, prices may vary, so I'm not going to give a price, but I'll put a link in the show notes so you can definitely check it out. You can definitely get it on Amazon. Um, you know, that's where most people tend to get it. Now to take it off, really simple, just unhook over here. When you have a lot of hair, you got to be careful, bring it over the top. I bring the height down like that. And all I do is I take the shoulder pieces, I roll them over the top. I take each part of the belt over the top, the saxophone adjustment and hook like this. And then I put it in the, again, the really awesome case that it comes in, which does not fit in your belt. I got to say it again. It really doesn't, but it'll fit in your case if you've got some room. And there's the Van Dorn FNH 100 harness. I totally recommend it. Okay. That's the first one. The next harness slash neck strap that I recommend is made by the, made by sax holder and it, well, it is called the sax holder. It comes in this nice little bag. Okay. And what it looks like is this again, another space age type of thing. <laughs> okay. Um, so for this, essentially all you need to do is just pull the arms out. This is the part that goes over your shoulder. This is the part that adjusts on the saxophone an excellent, excellent hook. Okay. Nothing's going to come off of that. And it's made really, really well. I've had this for a number of years. No problems. This piece is a little odd, right? Okay. This is the piece that you can adjust the height. And it, this is the piece that goes against your stomach area. Okay. So let me show you what it looks like assembled. I just basically put it over the top and then I bring the height down. I usually put it just above my belly button over here. Um, I make sure that the strings, there's no knots or anything like that. Now, here's what it looks like in the back. I'm going to try to lift my hair up here. Okay, so you can see this is the first version of the sax holder. I have to point that out. The second version that's out in stores now has this piece, these pieces bent in more. Okay, now the disadvantage for me and for people that have very narrow shoulders is that um, this tends to fall off me. If, I'm, if I've got my horn and let's say I want to pick up a drink, okay, this tends to fall off me. Now, you could probably say, oh, well, all you need to do is bend these in and that should be fine. Yes, that's true. Um, so what I would recommend, and it's fairly easy to do it. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do it here. I would need two hands and uh, it would take a little bit. But you could bend these in so that it fits in the back, that it's not, you don't want it digging into your shoulder blades, okay? But you do want a good enough fit so it doesn't fall over on you. And like I said, the new version of this, um, 
is bent in already. Okay. Now this is very sturdy, um, very stable. Uh, let me show you what it looks like hooked up to my Trevor James tenor saxophone. Okay. So I'm actually going to move this down a little bit. I've got the mic wire in the way. <laughs> I'm actually I'm going to correct myself. I tend to put the uh, the stomach piece just below my belly button. Let me just say it like that. Okay, so I just need a quick adjustment and it's fairly simple. You could put your fingers right in this little groove over here, move it up, move it down, okay? And there you go. And side view, nothing sticking out in the back, right? It's hugging the shoulders. <laughs> Okay, so it's very comfortable. I can go hands-free. I wouldn't though, for me, only because uh, my shoulders are very narrow. So this is a little bit dicey for me. Um, but it's very secure. That hook is really great. Okay, nothing's gonna come out of that hook. Um, I really don't feel the weight of the horn, although I will say for me, the Van Doren, I feel the horn less. Okay, I feel a little bit more in this. And again, it's because, you know, um, the, uh, the shoulder thing for me in the back. So the advantages of the sax holder is that it's, it is very light. Um, you really don't feel the weight of the horn. Um, it doesn't stick out so much on the back. You could barely see it. Okay. And it really, you know, you can move around a lot. The disadvantages are a couple of things. For people with narrow shoulders, just make sure you get the most uh, latest version of this, but you do have to do some adjustments in the back to make sure that it's a good snug fit and to bring the arms a little bit more in, okay? The other disadvantage is that when you're seated, it tends to pull to the side, okay? And it's a, it's a bit uncomfortable, all right? So the Van Doren, I don't feel that as much when I'm seated and I, I don't hold the horn straight in front of me when I'm seated. I put it to, the, to my right side. Um, I don't feel the strain. I'm feeling the strain a little bit here, and you can see it's a little bit off center, right? So that's the only disadvantage. This is a really terrific um, alternative. It's a little bit less expensive than the Van Doren FNH100, the sax holder. You can get this also on Amazon. I'm gonna put the link below. I'm not endorsed by them either, okay? But I'm just showing you some really, really great alternatives here, and again, you want to, you know, you just want to get the weight off your neck, you know, and this, these two options so far really do it. Um, so that's the sax holder onto the third neck strap slash harness that I recommend. So the third neck strap harness that I recommend is something that's pretty new, pretty new on the block. And it's made by Jack Finucane of the Boston Sax Shop. It's called the Balam. Okay. Comes in a really nice case, soft case. Now this particular neck strap. This is the first version. This is the classic Balam. This can fit in your bell. And let me show you. This can fit in your bell. All right. So this is the first one that actually can do that. Um, the thing to keep in mind though, you know, again, I tend to store my neck in the bell. So then you're, you're not going to have that option, but this can fit in the bell, which is pretty cool. Okay. So what does it look like? This is actually a really classy looking, uh, classy looking neck strap. Very similar in concept to the sax holder. Okay. So what you have here, here's the front part of it. This is a great hook. And look at, this is actually, this is actually really pretty looking. Okay. I gotta say, this is, this is pretty looking. It looks great. Let me just put this on. It looks great against the black. Um, the hook is really secure and very thoughtful to put this piece of rubber here so that it doesn't scratch the horn. Okay. The adjustment is really simple. You just take your two fingers, move it up, move it down. Okay. Really simple. What I love, okay, that most people don't do. You see this little like knob type of thing over here? Well, once you get your setting, just put this up and it stays. Okay, that's awesome. That's really great. Now, how does this fit? Well, it's not going on my neck. Okay, it's going to the side. All right, it's going uh, by the shoulders and such. Let me um, pull my hair up so you can see what it looks like from the back, if you can. <laughs> okay, um, it, really, it really has a nice fit. 
Let me take this off. It really has a nice fit all the way around. Now, looking at it from the back point of view, over here, this actually was great. I didn't have to adjust it at all, and that's rare for me. Okay, again, I mentioned I have very narrow shoulders, so I was really lucky I didn't have to adjust it. But um, there are many ways that you can adjust this, and you can see the string system over here. Also, you see the two, the two holes over here. For people like me who are smaller, who are more petite, we would move these, these two hooks and put them in this and these two hooks for an even better fit if needed. I was actually fine with this, which was really cool. Um, now, the other thing I wanted to mention too, when you look at the shape of this, if you see how there's a little bit of a bend here, that's really thoughtful because that bend is going by your collarbone, and that's how you're gonna fit this. So let me get a little close-up view here. So my collarbone is right there, and it, this is where the bend is, so that this piece of the strap is not pressing against your collarbone. You know, your lungs go just past your collarbone, and if a strap is resting on the upper part of your lungs, it's really hard to totally fill up and take a breath, okay? So I wanted to really point that out. I think it's a really great, um, great thought was put into this by Jack, okay? Let me show you what this looks like uh, when I put the horn on it. Okay, so this is what it looks like all attached, okay? Really, again, it's such a cool design, really classy looking strap made out of leather. Okay, the others are not. Okay, they're different material. And you can see it's secure in the back, okay? Um, you could bring the horn out, again, it does take off a lot of the weight of the horn, I gotta say. It's, I'm gonna say it's equivalent to the sax holder with regard to taking off the weight of the horn. Awesome hook, great quality, really high quality for this. Um, what's a good advantage with the Balam strap uh, whether it's the classic or the new one, the premium that's coming out, when you're seated, okay, it doesn't um, drag, it doesn't pull as much to the side when you're seated. That's huge, okay, that, that's, a, that's a big deal because a lot of folks play in big bands or community bands and they play seated. So it's something to consider. Now, one disadvantage for me and a couple of folks is this. This is the classic model and let me take the horn off just to show you. Um, this does take off the weight of the horn, but this part over here, there's an aluminum bar on the inside of the leather, and the aluminum bar goes all the way down to uh, this eye hole over here, and you feel it, okay? It actually digs in a little bit for me, all right? So for some folks, you may start to feel it when the horn's on you, it's going to dig in a little bit over here. The premium Balam neck strap that just came out will have padding underneath over here and the aluminum bar is not going to go down as far. Once I receive the premium Balam neck strap, I'm going to do a review on that. But I've got to say, Jack did a really, really great job. I was um, hesitant to buy this because I couldn't possibly conceive how, you know, this material or this design could take the weight of the horn off your neck. And it does. And it's comfortable. And it looks really good. Okay, so if you're playing gigs and stuff like that, you got the nice leather thing going on here. You got the really cool design. The premium version of the Balam neck strap also has a nice design as well. It's really high quality, really, really very well made. Pricing wise, it's in between the Sax holder and the uh, Van Doren FNH 100 harness. Um, it's a, a worthy investment. You know, look, you uh, your health is so important to you. Okay, and if you're finding that your neck strap system that you have right now is not, you know, alleviating any pain in your neck or maybe, it, you know, it's just not supporting the horn enough and you're bearing the weight on your hands a little too much, check out any of these three. The Van Doren FNH100, the Sax Holder, or the Balam neck strap. And I'll put links in the show notes below. Um, if you have any questions or comments, put them below in the show notes. And when I get the premium version of the Balam, I'll do a separate review on that. Hey, thanks for joining me today. On that note, take care. Have a great day.